anyone who's been to Thailand is probably familiar with the long tail boats. V8 motor, big pole, propeller at the end, the guy stands up and drives them. The French company Timo have taken it into a whole new realm. They've put it into the 21st century. Hi, I'm Barry Thompson from Powerboat Magazine. Today we're looking at the Timo 450, an electro portable propulsion system. In other words, an electric outboard, but with a twist. The attachment's really simple. We just had to drill two holes. We left the plate on for the normal outboard, so if you don't want this at a later date, you take it off and you're still left with the outboard bracket. This thing slips in here as a little receiver. Lock it off with this pin here. Uh, this knob. And there you are. It's all done. That's attached. Won't come off. So, obviously it looks a bit short, so you just open that and do it to whatever length you want. It's ideally on about 30 degrees, but it'll work above and below that. To turn it on, it's pretty simple. You just push this magnetic button in there, it's alive. Pull the trigger, forward, push the button, reverse. This gives you your battery monitoring. The telescopic pole goes from 130 centimeters to 170 centimeters in length. So it's got the versatility to be fitted to most small dinghies and tenders. What I liked about the Timo 450, it's a single unit, requires no external componentry such as a battery. It's all encased in the long pole and that's what's really unique about it. Once you've attached the magnetic safety lanyard to the top of the Timo 450, you just pull the trigger, grip on the handle. It's a progressive acceleration on the trigger and so the harder you push, the more power you get. Full speed, you're going to use it all up in about 45 minutes, which is still plenty considering what you're going to be using the boat for. Now, there's no noise, no pollution, and it's effortless to drive. It doesn't take you long to master it. We ran the Timo with one person in, and it goes exceptionally well. Gets along at about, I would say, about two to three knots. But tests in France have shown that with three people aboard heading into a 15 to 20 knot headwind, the Timo still pushed the boat along quite reasonably. Now once you've finished with the boat back home or on the boat, you simply plug it into a charger and it takes about three and a half hours to charge it. The ideal angle of inclination on the transom was about 30 degrees, but as we've shown, it'll work above and below that. And what I liked also, the heavy duty plastic shroud that protects the plastic propeller from damage and having something jammed in between the blades. Overall, the Timo 450 is an awesome piece of kit. It's lightweight, it's pollution friendly, and very, very quiet. I think that the French have come up with a masterful product, which like their champagne, I'm sure will mature with age.